Hi everyone, my name is Kurt Dusak. I am a solutions architect with GitLab. And today I'm gonna to be talking about GitLab as a project management tool. As many of you know, GitLab is a platform that covers the 10 stages of the DevOps lifecycle. And today we're gonna to be covering the manage and plan stages. So to get started, let's talk about how to organize your work within GitLab. At the top level, groups allow you to assemble related projects together and nest subgroups. Groups are useful for allowing you to roll up analytics from downline projects for greater visibility and also to find a top level configuration for user access that's inherited by subgroups and projects. Groups aren't a requirement. It's totally okay to have a standalone project that's not part of any group. Projects are where teams collaborate and they contain the code repo, individual work issues, and CI CD configuration and other tools that enable operations and security teams to work closely and collaborate with product owners and developers. Epics represent a strategic initiative or a large effort that your team is working through. They allow for groupings of other epics and issues, and they enable a management of a portfolio of initiatives, capabilities, and features efficiently. Epics exist across subgroups, sharing a common parent group as well as projects and milestones. Issues describe small, discrete pieces of work. Some systems call them a user story, a bug, or a defect. And the idea is that issues contain as little or as much definition needed to accomplish the actual work defined. Roadmaps are visual representations of an epic. They have a defined start and end date within a group and are shown in a timeline view, similar to a Gantt chart. The epics roadmap page shows a visualization for all of the epics which are under a group and its subgroups. Milestones are designed to organize and track issues and merge requests against a set period of time. So the idea behind a milestone is that it's created with a start date and an end date. If you're coming from an agile environment, you would call this a sprint. Here, we have an overview of how the different components of GitLab could map to an organization. It's possible to use a single group to encompass an entire org and then use subgroups for each division or business unit, which then encapsulate the individual projects. Epics give product owners and leaders the ability to link and manage work over an extended period of time. An epic can span groups and projects, and it makes it easier to manage the overall flow and priority of work. Tracking progress via epic roadmaps can be simpler and more accurate than tracking based on individual stories or milestones. Labels allow you to categorize epics, issues, and merge requests with a descriptive title such as bug, feature request, or documentation, or really anything you'd like. Group labels can be assigned to an issue or a merge request of any project within that group or subgroups within it. Project labels can be assigned to issues or merge requests within that project only. Labels are super useful for allowing filtering and managing of issues and merge requests and are visible throughout the entire application. Boards are the visual information radiators for project management and crucial for organizations and teams using Scrum and Kanban practices. We use them to plan, organize, and visualize a workflow for a feature product release. And the issues, or user stories, bugs, features, or however you call them in another system, are shown in the boards in the form of cards, and they provide a team with a central location to visualize and track the work in progress. Let's do the lab. 